ready to take my money? It's Nikki here. Annyeonghaseyo, Channel Nikki Imnida. Welcome back to another beginner's guide to K-pop. And today we're going to talk about a subject mm, that's not everyone's favorite, and that's money. Because we need to talk about money a little bit. Because merchandise is not cheap. Yes, it's not. Um, I think that should be an advice to all new K-pop fans. K-pop merchandise is really not cheap. Hold on, I shall explain. Um, you gotta think that you also have to pay shipping to the US. And a lot of US sellers, of course, up the price of the item itself to accommodate their shipping costs, your shipping costs, everything together. Then we kinda need to talk about fake sellers and people that like to rip you off because you're a fan and they think they can make money off of you because you just buy everything out there instead of checking whether or not it's real. So yes, K-pop, being a K-pop fan is not always cheap. From the light sticks, like up there, they range around 20 to $60. There have been special edition light sticks that wind up being all the way to $70. I got my light stick straight from Korea through a website called K-pop town and I've actually really really trust them. They do a really great job. Do pay that little bit more money to get your tracking because if you don't have your package tracked you will lose your money if it's lost. But if you have a tracking on your package, on the item you order, then if it gets lost you usually get sent a new item or your money returned. But that only works if you have tracking. But that also goes for US sellers. A lot of US sellers say if you don't have tracking on it, we are not responsible if it gets lost. So your best bet is to always get shipping with tracking. You might thinking, okay, I got the light stick straight from Korea. How was shipping? Um, like time-wise. I'm used to waiting for items. It took a minute for my light stick to come in because it actually got lost on the way from New York to Florida. So it was nothing, it had nothing to do with the shipping part from Korea to the US. It was actually part of USPS that messed up. So it took about a month for it to get here after it released because I had pre-ordered it for the second round of pre-orders. Um, yes, there's also part websites where they get the item in but not available for global shipping. So you need to pay attention to that. Um, albums usually range between 15 up, 15 to 30. My chain album was 30 and I got that straight from Japan as well because I had pre-ordered it from Japan. My personal opinion is if you can get it straight from the country it's released in, that's your safest bet of doing, doing it and also, you're probably your safest bet to get an original one. Now, some of my NCT albums I actually got from Music Choice LA, which I think is one of the, no, let's just say it's the best shop in the US to get your K-pop goods. Um, not sponsored, I have to say it is because everyone will think that. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I genuinely believe they do. They're very communicative. If something's up or you have questions with your order, they will answer and they're really friendly. And they do have a lot of the albums there. They also do pre-orders for light sticks, but they are up in price. That's why I got my light stick straight from Korea. Because it will actually wind up being cheaper ordering it from Korea. So as I said, albums range between 15 and 30 up. <laughs> Because there's always that one or two albums that wind up being more than that. Also, eBay. If you can, stay away from eBay. That's my personal opinion, especially when it comes to albums. Now, let's stick with albums first. I've seen albums like chain albums go for $70. NCT chain, um, $70 on eBay. So yes, 
they really, really like to up the price crazily on eBay because of course they're thinking you can get it in your country. I have it in my country. I will make money off of you. So you have to be smart. Don't just always click on the first thing you see. Don't do that. Be smart, actually look through all the items they have. Make sure which country it's coming from. Um, make sure your sellers, if you do wind up on eBay, um, your sellers rating, make sure it's pretty high and kind of look through the reviews if there are negatives in it. Now, photo cards, I can suggest eBay too. There are a lot of great sellers on eBay for photo cards, but again, make sure that that seller is trusted. Check the reviews that they're actually original ones. Make sure it says in the ad they're writing that it is an original photo card. Please do that. Go on eBay for those photo cards instead of stealing photo cards out of albums that you can see, find in store. I've seen a store recently on a line where someone said they had stolen, yeah, they were stupid enough to actually admit to stealing um, photo cards out of albums in a store, which a stealing sucks and you should never do it because it's stupid and it's illegal. Um, and two, all right, think this through for a minute with me. Someone has taken a photo card out of another album, another ones. So that person buys that album that now has no photo card and they're left without a photo card. How fair is this really? And for some albums, they actually give parts of the proceeds to organizations. But a lot of times that also can only happen if that album is not damaged, meaning unopened. So now you also lose that. But I think it's really shady and unfair and ignorant, stupid, insert all words that go with that for someone to go ahead and steal photo cards out of other albums where people work hard for to get them like to be able to buy them themselves. So again, just go on eBay. eBay, make sure that it's a good seller. Make sure that it's a trusted seller and just order extra photo cards from there. Posters you can pretty much get in any store. There's a lot of Korean stores you can get them from and shipped here. Music Choice LA also has posters. Just be careful. Some sell out super fast. So if you see something you want and you have the money available, I highly suggest you just going ahead and ordering it because sometimes they're not getting new ones, new shipments. So once it's gone, it's gone. Not a warning I think I should give to you all, especially for new K-pop fans, is authenticity for shirts, albums, photo cards, everything. Make sure it's authentic. There's too many sellers, even on Amazon, that sell non-authentic clothing and other items. I mean, yes, it's if you're fine with it and you just want to rock your um, idol and just show your support for them, it's cool, it's fine, I don't care. But if you really want to support their company or that idol in particular, make sure you get authentic merchandise. Just because if you, you could just print something out yourself and stick it onto your shirt. Does, doesn't make any sense what I'm saying. Just go ahead and support them because they work really, really hard. The idols work really, really hard to come up with new music and bring new music to you. So return them the favor and reward them with buying their merch, their official merch and all of that instead of being shady and support shady people that give out fake stuff. Be the fan you want to be. Be the fan you should be. Be the fan that actually supports the idol. And yes, it's not cheap. I understand concerts aren't cheap. I think BTS were in the 200th for good, good, good tickets. We're like up there, hundreds, um, which is a lot, especially if you think that there's only certain areas they're going to and you then have to travel and hotel and all of that crazy. But it's worth it sometimes. If you really have a wish, and a dream. Go ahead and chase that dream. Never give up chasing those dreams. You will get to see your idol. You will be able to go to a high touch event. Make that your goal. Make that your dream and chase after them and hold on to that. Put every little money aside, like change. You don't even know how fast change can accumulate and have hundreds of dollars in your drawer. So every little penny, just put it in a jar and have that as your merchandise jar or something like that. 
because you will be able to get it and it will be very rewarding for you to finally be able to get merchandise and get albums. Like for me, it was really rewarding once I was finally able to get some of that and to start collecting more and more items. Also warning, it is addicting. You will want every album, every single album and every single photo card and whatnot. You will want it, just the warning, but it comes with the territory of being a fan in the K-pop world. I hope that was sort of a help on where to go. Again, I go to K for Korean merchandise straight from Korea. I use K-pop town. And for merchandise here in the US, I use Choice Music LA. And now you've also been at um, KCON. So yes, definitely use them. If you definitely want to order from the States and can't really wait a month or so to get your stuff, order from them because I think they're amazing. Not sponsored, just again. But yes, please do that. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. If there's any other questions you have, K-pop related, merchandise, whatnot, something you're unsure of, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I will answer them. I will look through them. If there's a question I can't answer in a comment form, I will address it in a video. I love you guys. Sarangye. Bye bye. Annyeong. Looking to learn even more about K pop? Check out more beginner's guide to K pop up top. Want the latest K pop news? Check out K pop news flash below.